The following video asks us to find the slopes of lines A and B. Um, to do this, we need to talk about what slope is. Well, slope is a ratio, uh, and what the ratio is comparing is what we refer to as the rise of the line over the run of the line. Rise meaning how far up and down it goes in a specific distance left to right. Oftentimes, you could think of it as how far does it go up and down when it goes one unit to the right. That's a, a good definition of what slope is what you end up with at the end. To do this, we also refer to slope often as m. That's a variable that's uh, or constant that's associated with slope. And another way to think of it is the change in the y coordinates over the change in the x coordinates. So rise over run or change in y over change in x are both valid ways to view slope. So when we when we do this, we need to uh, what we'll do is draw a triangle to calculate well what is the change. What is the rise of this line? You know, as you go over left to right, how much does it go up? Well, if you look at this line uh, in that short little span or any of these spans, what do you notice? Well, hopefully you're noticing that there is no change in y. It does not go up and down at all. And so the change in y or the rise of this line is zero. And that's because it's a horizontal line. And what you're going to find out is a horizontal line has a very specific kind of slope. Now, the, the, the change in uh, x, well, it doesn't matter what you're looking at. You could be looking between those two points I just indicated or even those two points. It actually isn't going to matter because 0 divided by anything. I put 4 just because that was the last one I looked at. But because 0 divided by anything is 0. So the slope of a horizontal line or that line um, is 0. Um, and you'll find out later that a slope of a vertical line is no slope. It doesn't have a slope. Um, I like to think you can walk on a horizontal line, you can't walk on a vertical line. Okay, the other one's uh, the slope of B, so we're going to go find the M of B, which is what I what I'll write down here in a second. Um, w the way we do it is draw in a triangle. This triangle will allow us to find out, well, how much is it going up and down versus how much is it going left and right. So I start with the point furthest left, so the point I'm uh, indicating, and I'm going to draw the triangle down until I get even with my other point, and then I'm going to complete the triangle to the right. So, in this problem, this uh, line is going down, and is going down, well, you can count the number of squares, it's going down six. And since it's going down, we refer to that as a negative, so it's a negative six. And then we always count to the right, that's why we start left, count right. So this isn't always positive, and in this case, we're going over two squares, so it's positive two. So your slope is negative three. So what this is saying is, for every one unit to the right, this slope is going down negative three. Uh, the, the line is going down negative 3. And if you notice, any slope that goes down into the right is always a negative slope. 